I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing this lovely bee. Uh, so grab your favorite mark making mediums and something to color with. Up to you, it's your choice. And we're going to draw this bee. And for more art tutorial ideas um, for kids, if you want to learn how to draw, make some stuff, check out artastickids.com. I have an online form there for teachers or homeschool parents. Uh, or just parents wanting to learn about more things um, in terms of wanting to help their kids make art at home. You can check it out um, and join the chat and the free online form at artastickids.com. I also have tons of different free art lesson ideas at artastickids.com and I also have a membership where you can join and uh, stream on demand hundreds of different art project uh, tutorials for kids to do at home. Yeah, where you, it's just really great opportunity for kids to uh, have an affordable resource to create with, right? And access hundreds of different art lessons throughout a variety of different categories. They can click, they can hit play, and then just start creating and learn how to use all those different art making mediums that you have at home. Or if you don't, you only have to buy a few, like a handful of different art making mediums, uh, oil pastels, watercolor paints, your markers and wax crayons, and I'm gonna show you how to create hundreds of different hundreds of different things with them. So check it out at artastickids.com. Um, your hub for art resources for kids. So grab those art making mediums and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by artastickids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. All right, so we're gonna draw a super cute bee that is so excited because, well, it's summertime, which means there's summer vibes. So we gotta draw a super cute, happy bee. All right. Let's give the bee some eyes. We're gonna start the head on this side of the body, so left, sorry, the left side of the page, and we're gonna draw the body on the right side. So we're gonna give this bee some super cute heart eyes. So we're gonna draw one big heart, and then just a little higher, we're gonna draw a smaller heart. So that way it appears to be farther away, even though it's not because it's paper, but we're making that illusion that it's farther away. Okay, between the eyes, we're gonna give the bee a mouth by drawing a lowercase letter W. So cute. Yeah, none of these are realistic features. That's okay, because this is art, so we're just gonna be silly. Okay, you can draw some antennae, and I'm making them nice and Thick. So I'm gonna draw one and two, and again, I'll make this one smaller. So it seems farther away. And then we'll connect it together. We're gonna draw the body, so we're gonna draw some fuzzies for our bumblebee. We're gonna give it two small little wings. And then we're gonna draw a line that curves from the head out to the back and then up the front. Add a little stinger, and we'll add some little expressive lines. Up the wings, we're gonna draw a straight line. And then you can add some stripes on your lovely bee. We're gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six lines. Three on the front, three on the back. We 
can add some little pollen sacks there on the back legs. So that way it can deliver to its family. And I'm gonna add some dashed lines to kind of indicate a sort of trip this bee has taken around the page. And once you're done, you are ready to give it some color. Now I'm gonna grab some blue before I get going on the rest. And before you choose your own colors, I'm gonna just take that blue. We're gonna go up the center of the wings to kind of give them a nice little glow. And you can even add a little blue here and there on the outside of those dashed lines. Give it some texture. Make it look like the sky. All right, and once you're ready, you can go ahead and color your bee.
And once you're done filling in your B, your lovely artwork is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.